last match of today, man single final. Please welcome the Tarnikov Fulvicier. It is as follows, Estonia, and the Zabijas, Jason Puyye, Singapore.
Axelsen, 21, 14, 21, 13. The winner of the Indonesia Open without any single defeat in game in Indonesia Open. How can you do that? First of all, uh, I think your outfit is really cool. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, obviously, um, I'm really, uh, right now, I'm just really surprised. Um, of course, I always go to tournaments to win it all, but last, you know, Indonesia Open, maybe in Eddie's Daughter Stadium, winning for the third time is crazy. So, so I, I want to thank all the Indonesian uh, battle fans, even though of course you were supporting your local hero, uh, Anthony Ginting, um, an amazing opponent that had been playing so well recently. So yeah, I'm looking forward to many more encounters against him and uh, yeah, I wish him all the best. Thank you. Do you have anything to say to uh, your contender, uh, Anthony Ginting? Well, I can I can tell them the same thing again, <laughs> uh, but obviously, yeah. Once again, you know, Ginting has been playing so well, winning uh, multiple titles this year. So he's, uh, you know, one of the strongest competitors for sure. And we will have many more matches in the future, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So you also have lots of fans here in Indonesia, and maybe next year it's going to be a different place and a huge, uh, huge place rather than in Stora Senayan. Do you feel that you can also be champion again in the next year ahead in Indonesia Open? I think I should try to negotiate and see if we can play at the store anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, you know, it would be... Uh, it would, I'm having, you know, it would be sad to leave this place because it's such a legendary venue, but also it will be exciting to see the new venue. So, most importantly of all, I hope to see you all there next year. And uh, thank you for supporting that. Thank you so much. Victor Axelsen from Denmark! Well, yeah? Can you, you can choose. Directly? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Victor, in the game two, uh, I saw you pointing at the spectators. Uh, why did you do that if you have a reaction? And the second one is, who is the toughest opponent that you have played against? Please say one. Uh, well, the reason was there was a screen with like um, text going. So my eyes was just uh, a little bit, you know, conflicted, it was a little bit, you know, I couldn't really see clearly there, so that was the only thing. The spectator didn't do it to uh, irritate any of us, but, but for me, visually, it was uh, it was a little bit tough to focus on the shuttle. Um, secondly, uh, the toughest opponent to beat, it really depends on the arena, the, you know, where you're playing, which shuttles are you playing with, etc, etc. But, you know, Anthony Ginting, he's been playing so well recently, and, you know, winning Singapore Open and uh, the Asia Champs as well, so he's obviously also the man to beat. And for me, I'm just really, really proud about my performance today. It's not easy to win in front of a filled Estorla Senayan Stadium, so it was one of the most fun experiences I've had in my active badminton career. This was an amazing experience. Thank you, Two questions, yeah? What was the first one? <laughs> how about when you are, how, uh, you're, I've watched oh, it the yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, obviously Ginseng, he's way more technically talented than I am. Uh, he's playing spectacular badminton, it's so fun to watch. Maybe I'm playing a little bit more boring. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, you know, obviously I want to play my game plan and I have to get Ginseng away from his game plan. And today it worked really, really well for me. I played with a, a good balance in my game, a good balance between defense and attacking. And all in all, I'm really, really satisfied about my, my game today. Um, secondly, I, my plan right now is to just make sure that my body is healthy. I'm just coming off an injury. I didn't have much practice before coming here. So I just want to make sure that my body is healthy and strong. And then uh, there are so many tournaments coming up where I hopefully can perform again. Um, I think, to be honest, the men's singles category is so tough to predict. Um, 
obviously I've been really fortunate and, and really proud that I've been able to perform in the major tournaments um, for the last past few years. But saying that, there is the, the field is so tight. There are so many players who can beat each other on a given day. So every player, there is you know in the top 10, top 12, there are so many talented players. So I don't want to name just a few. It wouldn't be fair to all the others. I think we are a big group of players who are, can play really well. And uh, yeah, you know, you never know what happens. I'm just trying to enjoy this win right now. This was a major win for me, and yeah. And then we take that one. <laughs> um, once again, I feel. If I'm actually really, you know, speech, speechless right now, you know. I never thought that I could win Indonesia Open for the straight third time, I think. Um, here last time at the Store Stadium, as you say, in a filled arena where everybody was against me, except a handful of Danish <laughs> fans. Um, so this was a really, really big win for me, and I'm just so thankful to have had this experience. Um, winning or losing, I want to put that aside, but just for badminton, playing in this arena is will be one of those experiences which will stand clear in my mind when you know when I'm also done playing. Second one was the, uh, the memories. Oh, memories. This is actually the memories. Yeah. Right? yeah, just yeah. This obviously it's a shame we're leaving here I think. There is so much there's a legendary atmosphere here. Um, but I'm also excited to see the new stadium. But um, the memories will I will always take with me from a store. Like uh, having a good cup of coffee, maybe? Well, yeah.